Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a relation based on the parameter when I create and modify the dimension. So it is question directly from you, so let's quickly start. So we will create new 3D model. I will use the default template and we will create simple extrude feature. So what we need, it's a one simple dimensions and we can say that, for example, we would like to validate and edit these 211 millimeters by relations and some calculation here. Yeah? So I will come from OK and come from OK. So what does it mean? Now we have created simple extrude feature. As we know, maybe we don't want to see the display plane so I can hide. When I will jump to the tool and the parameters, we will create the new parameter. So for example, I will create a parameter, the double A, and the number will be 50. So what does it mean? We would like to have and drive the dimension based on the parameter AA. As you know, simple, if I would like to create a modification with the relation, yeah, Maybe we can delete this original relation and we will say that D5 is equal AA. This is really easy because the system is automatically recognize the parameter and the dimension D5 and the size will be driven by parameter AA. So I will come from OK and everything is fine. So what does it mean if I will regenerate model, control G, it will be 50. This is standard, but your direct question has been, what will be happen if I will select double click here? And for example, I would like to add that this dimension is now 211, but my relation will be, for example, 150 plus parameter AA. So simply you can draw this 150 plus name of the parameter. If I will hit enter, the system will ask me if I would like to add relation. Yes, of course, I'd like to add automatically relation and the dimension will be changed to 200. So if I will regenerate, we can see it's a 200. And now your model will be a little bit more complicated. And in the relations, you will have uh, so many rows. And now you would like to found something quickly. Maybe it's not so easy. So how you can recognize what is driven relation? Simple. You will only click here, and if you will select one time, you can change the name of the original dimension name. So, for example, from D6, you can row that is the width, yeah? So, if I will come from width, and I will regenerate, we will check the relation, and the parameter will be changed to width. Okay, it's one example, or another one, if you will select double-click to dimension, the system will recognize that this dimension is driven by relation and the relation is brought directly on the bottom in this line. And last but not least, maybe you would like to know what is the size or what is the parameter value of the parameter AA. And sometimes it's really good if you will do it immediately by annotation. We would like to create annotation flat the screen so really on the screen i like to see the annotation so simple jump to annotate flat the screen and create annotation feature as annotation you can click here you can wrote for example parameter aa is equal and now what is necessary and a name of the parameter simple to say if i will finish the note annotation feature the system will transform the end aa to value yes yeah? so i will click and confirm and now you can see that is the change it automatically maybe we can change the size of the node will be better to see and what does it mean if we will jump to the tools and parameters and we will change from 50 to for example to 61.3 yeah we will come from OK. The parameter value will be automatically changed. If we will regenerate, also the two dimensions are changed based on the relation. Last but not least, maybe you don't want to see the whole 
the decimal places, so three decimal places, maybe only one decimal places you would like to see. Select simply the annotation and from the ribbon you can select the text editor. What is necessary to wrote here that you would like to have the parameter and and parameter name and now you can use simple sign you would like to use and then number of decimal places. I will come from OK and now one decimal places is visible. So over here it was example how you can simple modify the dimension by the relation, see the parameter value or see the expression directly in the window. Thanks for your question. Take care and bye-bye. Vladimir. -bye.